also another thing happening here is made like medically assisted death pretty much and basically i didn't say i don't want to say we won with this but they actually ended up waiting another year because basically they introduced this legislation that like medically assisted dying i'm sure you guys know what it is like when they like they doctors will end your life with your consent because of like a terminal illness something really bad happening but now they've expanded it to people with mental health issues and even people who are homeless like there was like this guy who was like homeless and he had um he had something else like physical uh, terminal illness i think that's how you say it i hope that's the right terminology and they basically he was considering it only not because of what he was feeling but because he didn't want to be homeless he'd rather be not here than on the streets but thankfully they raised enough money for him and he's fine now it seems like but the fact that they wanted to change it to like mature minors which could be like 16 year olds and for mental illness so now they're waiting another year because they need time to get this right but if they're expanding this to people with mental health issues everyone's going to be gone and it just goes to show you that this is probably part of a bigger idea like why like it's actually ironic to me that Canada loves to bring in immigrants, which they can bring immigrants, but it's like they, but at the same time, they're fine with people taking their own life. Like, you know what I'm trying to say for like mental illness? Like, that's the thing. People were fine with terminal illness, but now if we go to mental illness and teens, it's going to be a mess. Mm. I think. Yeah, because there's a lot of mental, well, they, they say a lot of the sort of trans movement is sort of like a byproduct of mental health issues or depression so this is going a step further with what they're sort of pushing to say say if i don't know a 13 year old's going through 13 year old sort of depression whilst they're going through puberty and they're growing up is it going to get to a point that that 13 year old in the in the future could go to the hospital and say i'm too depressed like just take my take my life away like that's the that's where I can see it going in the future if something like this does ever get passed. Yeah, and like your teenage years are like a confusing time for everybody. Nobody really understands themselves when they're a teenager. But to have the option to go and literally yeah, kill yourself through doctor's consent, it's just fucking insane. Yeah, over a phase that you might be going through, you, mm. you end up taking your life from it yeah and without like going like saying the whole story but it just reminds me when i was like that age they basically doctors put me on antidepressants for an issue that i basically never had i was never depressed or really anxious at that age i mean i have anxiety now but and and it's a like i guess what i'm trying to say is like they're very quick to push like medication or like push stuff made on people when really it could be a phase or other things could be you know uh offered and yeah they're gonna say oh no, it's if treatment doesn't work, if all other options are gone, but is that really how it's going to be? I'm sorry. I don't have any trust anymore to, to like, I I've lost a lot of trust in these like officials that I don't know if I really believe that it's all other options are exhausted, you know, because I guess to them, it might be cheaper, like taking someone's life or ending it than getting them really the help. And that's very, very, very concerning. Like we have like a mental health crisis here. Like public health care like there's wait like really big wait times for like free therapy if you want private you pay and you're you can get it like I don't know within a week but yeah it just if you put two and two together it just seems like there's something sinister behind this to be honest even psychologists here apparently this association they didn't really agree with this they were debating about this too it's not like the psychologists agreed with this they're actually a lot of them don't agree with this either that's why they waited another year Seems like Canada just going full pelt to do everything they possibly can to fuck up the country, basically. 